Go away, Reefers. I'm Daniel from Coralos, and today I want to tell you the truth about aquarium lighting and how to choose the proper light for your aquarium. A lot of people have misconceptions about corals and lighting in reef tanks, and there is no right or wrong answer, truthfully. Some people may say this is better, and they may be very proud of their expensive light, but you do not need an expensive light to have a successful reef aquarium, and you don't even need LEDs or blue lights at all, because a lot of people do wonderful with just the sunlight. Um, and actually the sunlight can be too strong at times. So there's different corals and different species out there that require different lights. At different depths of the water you have stronger blue because the white light can't penetrate deep into the water. So the deep water corals tend to love the bluer lights. Now the strength of these lights truly depends on how deep the coral is and where it's found and location and tide and all that other stuff. So when you're shopping at a fish store or you're shopping online and you see a coral that you're really interested in, it looks beautiful under their lights and you get it home and you're not as impressed, you need to know that not all corals fluoresce and some corals will fluoresce more than others and some not at all and it's just, it's a big, it depends on your lighting and the coral. So just by buying a better blue light with stronger spectrum doesn't mean that your coral is going to instantly fluoresce. So that being said, if you're starting out and you're buying cheaper corals, they tend to not need as strong of lighting. Um, the more expensive the coral, this isn't a rule, this isn't always, I'm just saying, so the SPS corals tend to require a lot stronger light than you're going to get um, from a T5 or T8 bulb. So know what you want to put in your tank. When you're building your reef and you're shopping around, a lot of times you're just getting things that interest you or things that look cool or whatever. But you kind of realize that your water flow is crucial to the coral's health and so is that light. So if you're putting in low light corals and they're doing well and even they may require lots of phosphates or nitrates. So there's so much more to this hobby than just the equipment you have. It's putting those pieces of equipment all together. So one of the problems that just was brought to my attention this morning by Jaron from Vasca and he was letting me know that the beauty about the Kessels is they've already been blended properly for you and people who get the more expensive radions with all the more options and you can control each light they tend to burn their corals without even knowing it. You know, they have all these great controls and they don't know how to blend them properly and they can actually affect the zoanthilla growing in the corals. So there is a lot of information here to take in and you can break it down by strength, by par, by spectrum and all different things. But in reality, it depends on the coral in that spectrum of the coral that you have that you're trying to take care of and the depth of your tank. So each light has its own strengths and they have their own weaknesses so it just depends on what your system is and what you need so if you're trying to pick out a light and you're stuck to a budget and you want a powerful light that's gonna pop you can get those Chinese LEDs those black boxes and they're amazing I mean for most of my life I grew all my corals off those LEDs uh, they were incredible so and you can't beat the price I think now they're the price went back up because people started wanting them again and they started putting in built-in timers you know instead of just the knobs so they're making them a little fancier but those LED boxes are incredible phenomenal and, and powerful for what you're paid for them so if you have just T5s or T8s or if you're a metal halide person I mean there's so many different options like I said out there you can get different color bulbs different temperatures and it's not just that lighting fixture you can also replace your T8s with LED strips that actually fit in those lighting housings so just give it some thought if you want your tank and you want your corals to fluoresce and you're all excited about making the tank pop and how many colors of the rainbow you can fit in one tank uh, that's like me I love corals that pop but at the same time some of the most beautiful corals I have look the best in the white daylight like the pearlberry that coral doesn't really fluoresce at all and at nighttime under my blue lights it's it's kind of ugly but during the daytime it's just like wow I mean the coral is insane so if you want more of a natural looking reef and you want that shimmer you know you're gonna have to use the Kessel with that central light spectrum that spreads out and you know with your water moving because you kill killer shimmer if you're using T5s and T8s they're totally flooding your tank with light and they're not gonna give you any shimmer at all no matter how much movement you have in your tank so like I said it's all personal preference of what you can afford and when you have that time but just know when you're trying to build your reef aquarium that certain corals will do wonderful in certain lighting and if you're one of those people that just likes to plug and play and you want something easy um, check out the Kessel now I'm interested in the new I think AP 700 
So I haven't tried this product out yet, but I'm really interested to find out more about it. So, I mean, I've tested out several lights in my time, but they keep making so many and there's so many other kinds. I mean, the T5 blends, I'm really interested in the LED combos. So, because they do fill out your whole tank, but they also give you that pop that everyone loves and you can fine tune them to your needs. So, as always guys, thanks for watching and happy reefing. I hope this was really helpful for you. Please hit that thumbs up button and share one of your comments below if you've been building a tank and there's some new lights that you're just wow about. Feel free to share it with us because we appreciate your feedback and as always, thanks for watching and happy reefing.